Oh man, how the mighty do fall. Ben Shapiro of Daily Wire and owning the libs fame got some things wrong about machine guns. And we at the Minuteman Moment felt the need to explain why every American should be able to own a full auto machine gun. Let's watch this clip really quick. You mentioned you're in favor of banning fully automatic weapons because they're inherently dangerous. The number of homicides committed with these weapons is vanishingly small, under 10 since the 1930s. Why do you view them as inherently dangerous? Well, in, in the same way that we've had very few casualties via nuclear bombs, and yet we don't allow people to generally own them. Even the NRA is not in favor of fully automatic weapons being widely available and, and sold and owned. There are certain states, by the way, where you can buy a, a fully automatic machine gun. Generally not through federally licensed firearms dealers, but you can fire them at, at gun shows in, in particular states, for example. Uh, th honestly, the case for, for legalizing fully automatic weapons is not inconsiderable. Right? In Debunked, however, I said that you at least understand the logic, that when it comes to gun control measures, which typically were done on the state level, there was a balance between the the deadliness of the weapon and the general use of the weapon, which is what the court says in Heller versus DC, and the wide availability of the weapon. You, you wouldn't want people owning cruise missiles, even if very few of them fired them. Man, that is really rough. So first off, I wanna clarify that the average law-abiding American who's over 21 years old can buy a machine gun the same way you'd buy a suppressor or an SBR with small caveat that you need about $10,000 or more. Full auto weapons are regulated under the national firearms tax. And before 1986, anyone could buy one so long as they paid their $200 tax stamp and filled out the right forms. That all changed when William Hughes, former Democrat representative for New Jersey, decided to ruin the fun for everybody and future generations with the famous Hughes Amendment. I'll dive into the Hughes Amendment in a future video, but for now, all you need to know is that the amendment ended the ability for civilians to own a machine gun that was made after 1986. That doesn't mean it's illegal for a civilian with no special license besides the tax stamp to own a machine gun. In fact, all but 13 states allow Americans to own full auto machine guns. Now let's break down Ben's argument. They're inherently dangerous. Yeah, so is every firearm, even my car, is a death machine compared to any transferable machine gun and it costs about the same? The right to bear arms isn't qualified by if it's dangerous or not. And while Heller might make that distinction, the newest Supreme Court case, Bruin, says that any law that restricts the Second Amendment must show an allegory in the history, text, or tradition of America. That's a really high bar. This means there's a strong case to be made for machine guns. And Ben even concedes this. He says, honestly, the case for legalizing fully automatic weapons is not inconsiderable. And if we go all the way back to the 18th century, our ancestors were shooting the modern day equivalent of a rocket launcher at groups of redcoats because they were coming for their guns. The founders protected the right to own those same weapons after the Revolutionary War was over. Machine guns would definitely have been within the scope of this logic. Part of the reason why this is the case is because the number of legally owned firearms or the functionality of those firearms does not affect the number of mass shootings. If machine guns are so dangerous, according to Ben, why is it that we've had more mass shootings after their ban? Anti-gunners are even pushing the notion that semi-automatic is more dangerous than fully automatic. So the second we compromise and say that machine guns are dangerous, they have an easy route to ban your semi-auto because they're supposedly more dangerous. If anything, machine guns should be legal because they embody the entire idea of the Second Amendment. An armed population with the ability to resist a tyrannical government needs the best available tools to counteract any violence brought upon them. Grandpa's old hunting rifle may be acceptable for this, but the best option will always be choosing a purpose-driven tool. Okay, number two, just because there aren't a lot of them doesn't mean they're not dangerous. According to the ATF, there are over 175,000 pre-1986 machine guns registered in the US. And while that's nowhere near as many AR-15s or handguns is in circulation, it's clear that these weapons are not being used for criminal purposes in any capacity. All the full auto firearms confiscated by law enforcement come from the black market or are converted to full auto in contravention of what the guys in Washington DC would like. After all, what gang member is gonna spend $10,000 on a transferable machine gun 
when they could instead smuggle one in or steal someone else's gun. And so no matter what Ben or anyone else wants to say, there is a robust history of Americans owning fully automatic weapons. And you should also consider that the Gatling gun has always been legal and it's still legal and it's not considered a fully automatic firearm, legally speaking. And now we come to the part that's the most frustrating for me. Someone who is as experienced as he is and has had a career of debating people on the other side of this and many other issues should know better than to accept your opponent's premises. The anti-gunners argue we need to ban guns because they're dangerous. But I'm here to argue that we should keep our gun rights because they are dangerous tools that effectively repel tyranny. Gun Owners of America fully endorses and always has the idea that Americans should be able to own machine guns, not because they are or aren't dangerous, but because it's your right as an American citizen. Thanks for watching the Minuteman Moment. Be sure to check out more on our YouTube channel and like and subscribe and let us know below what you think of Ben's views on machine guns.